Hey, it's Neil with Gentry's. We had a YouTube subscriber request that we do a review on the SCCY Industry CPX Series 9mm handgun. SCCY Industries has been around since 2003. They're located in Daytona Beach, Florida. I wanted to give you kind of an overview of this gun, a little bit of the information on it. We're going to go out and shoot this thing and we'll also give you uh, some, some footage of the gun being used and give you a little bit of a shooter's review after we get done with it. So just a real quick overview you can see. Um, small compact 9mm, this gun is just a little over 5 inches tip to tip, weighs 15 ounces unloaded, is a uh, great concealed carry option for men or for women. This is a hammer fired gun, uh, much like the LC9 series before the LC9S. This is a hammered fired gun. There's a CPX1 and a CPX2. This is a CPX2. The only difference in the CPX1 and the CPX2 is that the CPX1 has an ambidextrous thumb safety on both sides. Um, that is an unusual feature for those of you that have been through a lot of these smaller handguns, particularly the last couple of years, the generations of concealed carry guns that have come out. Most of those guns have not featured a thumb safety. Both the CPX1 and the CPX2 come in three color options. Now you can either get the slide in stainless or black, and you can get the polymer portion of the grip in either black and OD green or kind of a purple pinkish color. So if you want to come in a little bit closer, we're going to bring you in a little bit and we're going to give you a little close-up view of this gun. To bring you in and give you a closer look, this is the CPX2, as I'd said earlier. The only difference in the CPX2 and the CPX1 is that the CPX1 has an ambidextrous thumb safety. It is a rear hinged thumb safety. It sits right here. It does work from both sides. Those of you that have gone through and priced any of the concealed carry guns in the last couple of years have know that particularly in this price range, thumb safeties are a little bit of a unique feature. A lot of the manufacturers have gone away from that. Gun is a little over five and a half inches from tip to tip. It's about 15 ounces unloaded. It is a double stack. Uh, so 10 plus 1. One of the things I like about this gun is that the, the stack release is very, very, very smooth. If you see this ported area on the back, this is actually, uh, they call it a recoil absorbing back strap. Um, it does have some give to it. You can really feel that when you, when you begin to handle the gun. This has got a 16-1 right hand twist. Um, very easy slide release, which if you have priced or handled many of these smaller concealed carry guns, you know that a lot of times that slide release is extremely stiff. Three dot sight mechanism, this actual back sight is adjustable. It will slide back and forth a little bit for uh, some windage adjustment or if you have some, some alignment issues um, in the way that your brain processes target pictures. Uh, it is, this is a hammer fired gun. You'll be able to see that mechanism move. I'm not gonna pull the trigger trigger. Uh, we will do some shooting on this to give you a shooter's review. It is a hammer fired gun. It has about a nine pound trigger pull. It's very, very consistent. Some people find that a little heavy. I think for a concealed carry gun, that's not too bad. Uh, this is not a gun that you're gonna have to worry about going off in, in, in a purse, going off in your pocket, going off inside your waistband. Has a heavy enough trigger pull to offer a degree of safety, but not so heavy of a trigger pull that it becomes an issue in terms of uh, fireability. As I said, this is a double stack. Uh, it is 10 plus one, so you get 11 capacity. We're going to take this gun out and shoot it a little bit, show you how it performs. We're going to put 10 through it, nice and slow and easy and smooth, and then we're going to put 10 through it as fast as we can pull the trigger and see if we can get the gun to jam up. We can't. I've shot it. I've shot it enough to know that these guns are very reliable, feed very well, feed very well with a variety of ammunition. And uh, But we're going to go ahead and give you a little bit of a shooter's review on it so you can take a look at it. Let's take a look at what's in the box, just so you know what it comes with. It does come with a, uh, a trigger lock comes with a different set of straps if you would like to, or bases for your, uh, for your mags if you'd like to take those off. does come with two, both of which are double stacked. comes in uh, a, actually a nice packaged box. One of the things, let me find the right piece of paper. Okay, nice feature. No questions asked, lifetime warranty. This gun is warrantied forever. If you manage to tear it up, if you manage to break it, you can send this gun back to SCCY. In most cases, they won't even fix it. They will just send you a new firearm. This, particularly in this price range, is absolutely awesome. Uh, you see this in a lot of higher end gun manufacturers, uh, more expensive gun manufacturers in the five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar and up price range. 
for a gun that we sell in our store uh, for 250 bucks, 252 dollars, I think was the last price we got on this. A lifetime, no questions asked warranty is an outstanding feature. As I said, when we were looking at this thing from a distance, you have three different color options. You can get the slide in either black or stainless, and you can get the polymer part in either black, OD green, or this purple pink color. So let's take this gun out and shoot it, and let's see what we think. Hey, it's Neil with Gentry's, and we're out at the range here on the farm, and we're going to do the field shooting test for the SCCY Industry CPX-2. As I said uh, in the video review, the CPX-1, the only difference in the 1 and the 2 is that the 1 has a thumb safety on both sides. We're going to run 10 rounds of ammunition through this nice and slow, and then we're going to run 10 rounds through it just as fast as we can pull the trigger and uh, see if we can get this gun to feed correctly, see if we have any issues with it at all. So, you ready to go? There's 10 through at a reasonable pace. I'm going to swap out mags, and we're going to go through 10 as fast as I can pull the trigger. So that's 20 rounds through it, 10 rounds at a reasonable pace, 10 rounds as fast as we can pull the trigger. Didn't really have any issues with it. The gun feels good. When we were going through the first round of test fire, I did have one where it jammed. That was my fault. I did not have enough resistance on the gun and I kind of limp-wristed it. I didn't give enough resistance to it. And uh, we had one that didn't, didn't feed properly when it went back in. Uh, have no issues with it whatsoever. Trigger pull is a little heavy at around nine pounds, but it does make it a very safe, very effective uh, carry gun or pocket gun uh, or a purse gun for a lady. So we're gonna wrap the review up. Overall, I'm very impressed with the gun. It feels nice, it shoots nice. Uh, Trigger pull is not bad enough that it makes you pull off of target. So we're going to get back in and wrap this review up. Hope you've enjoyed the review of the SCCY Industry CPX Series 9mm. If you would, please comment. Anything, feedback that you have on this video or anything you would like to see us review, feel free to put the comments on our YouTube page or you can do that on our Facebook page. If you want to check out the guns that we have in stock, uh, you can check us out at gentriesonline.com. You can also stop by and see us if you're ever in the Hardinsburg, Kentucky area. We'd love to have you stop in and, and say hello to us. We are a federal firearms dealer. We can ship guns all over the country. So if you see a gun that we review and we have a better price point than what you have in your area, if you want to just get on the website and take a look and give us a call, our contact information is on there. We can ship one of these out to an FFL in your area. Thanks a bunch. I hope you've enjoyed the review and uh, good gun. We're pretty happy with it. Thanks a lot. I go